Hoy comenzamos una maratón de ferias que nos acompañarán a través de las semanas. Acompáñame. The project was made in 1971 by Alan Rupersberg. It was a hotel that was staged in a house on Sunset Boulevard where he made every room into an art installation and then rented it out for people to sleep, to spend the night. It was very much a space for happenings and so when Chichili Almani invited us to make a tribute, we decided to make kind of a mix of a historical uh, presentation and a new experience so people can sort of hang out, drink, spend the night and get a sense for the original project while having a new experience. we decided to present uh, a, an artist from New York yeah. that lives uh, and works here and his name is Carol Dunham that has been very active since the end of the 70s and uh, we decided to create a book that goes on chronolog chronological order so from the end of the 70s up to now okay. and in this case uh, we basically put together different works uh, different group of works that talks about and represent different periods of, uh, of his career. This booth is designed by a guy called Martino Gamper, who lives in London and is very known in the field of design. So he made these capsules, I call them capsules, which features artists that we work with. Like when you come over here, you see like this room, this is a woman called Francis Uprichard, and he kind, of, he kind of picked the colors, he picked the carpet, he picked the, the texture of the walls. And yeah, and so for us, it was like an opportunity to work with this amazing designer together. Could you share with us what this installation is about? This installation by Shana Latker, an artist from Los Angeles, is about the fist fights of the surrealists. And this fist fight happened in the 20s in Paris at different theaters and venues. And it usually involved André Breton, who was a big supporter of the surrealists. And Shana Latker spent a lot of time in Paris in the previous years researching on the fist fights of the surrealists. So these chairs, each chair presents another fist fight of the surrealists. What the installation itself means? What is the meaning and intention behind this particular work? The, the, this work is a work about memories, it's, it's a work about death as well. It's a, a work which lets, makes you think about yourself or through your own experience into a bigger picture of what happens in our world. So what we are looking at or where we are standing in is a, is a reconstruction of an Israeli military graveyard. And so a military graveyard is a place which has a very structured order and each grave looks the same except of tiny nameplates which are not here of course because this is just an idea for the original. And what happens is that the parents of the young people who were soldiers and which died in war they come to, gu to guard and to look after their children's graves and what they do is they, they bring their favorite toys and books and favorite elements and, and they personalize the grave in their own way. So it's something between privacy and public space. Yeah, it 
it's a pleasure to, to bring a special installation by Maria Nepomuceno that she did especially for Freeze New York. So she, she created, as you can see, a huge piece that are connected with all of them. All of them have this idea of not solid sculptures, connect with a ge geometrical and organical pieces, with someone very traditional from the Brazilian roots, like the ceramics, in the same time with the kind of Indian and the African roots. So it's a kind of solid, not solid sculpture connecting all the roots. general idea of what you are doing in the fair and how you are involved in the artist project? Uh, well, what happened was is they called over to the fire academy yes. and they wanted to have a representative from the fire department to be here, to come here and to answer any type of questions on uh, fire safety, how you would um, evacuate your apartment in the event of a fire, uh -huh, fire okay. apparatus, yeah. um, which was the most interesting question today people asked to you? The most interesting question was a couple of uh, ladies came early on and they wanted some definitions what a flash over was, what a backdraft was, <laughs> and I answered those questions. Uh -huh. What to do in the event you are in your apartment and there is a fire. If your apartment is not on fire, <laughs> to stay in it. Oh, really? Your natural instinct is to run out of the building. Yeah. That could be the worst thing you could do. Oh. Because in your apartment, if it's not on fire, you will you're be safe. safe. When you open up the doorway into the hallway, that's where all the smoke is. Really so in. most people, when they, if, if they get killed in a fire, it's not from the actual flame. It's from it's the from, toxic. It's from breathing in smoke inhalation. Y así terminamos nuestro capítulo de hoy. No olvides seguirnos el próximo jueves para ver qué pasó en las otras ferias satélites durante la semana Freeze. Chao, chao.